All right, welcome back everyone. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a, uh, a C sharp program. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than the uh, previous uh, week assessment. Okay, so basically in this assessment, we use the uh, uh, right line uh, command to display multiple um, text string. Okay. Alright, so again, we're going to open Visual Studio. Uh, we create a, a new project. Uh, that's the console application right here. So let's name this one a uh, Week 3 um, Assignment. Okay. Let's leave a default right here. You can pick the um, folder where you can um, locate the project later on. Alright, um, <clears throat> so now you can see over here the uh, Visual Studio create a template for us. So I want you to focus in this area where we write in the code. Alright, so let's see what is the requirement for this week. Uh, basically, the assignment right here, write a console application and document the uh, result. Okay, so what you're going to uh, write in the program. Uh, the application should be able to display multiple uh, live information right here. So uh, basically, that's going to be dash line and then put the name in here and so on. Okay, so how can we uh, display this information? Basically, this one gonna consider a text string, so I gonna copy it, and over here I gonna use the same command right line right here, and this one gonna be inside the uh, uh, double quotation right here. So this is considered a text string. Okay, in the end right here I can have the uh, uh, semicolon right here. Okay, so let that is if this work or not. Uh, console dot free. Okay, so this one basically I can uh, free the uh, output and uh, hopefully I can see it. So I save it and I run it. All right. So here the text string is this way right here. This work perfectly fine. So uh, we're gonna continue at more information as required by the program. So we're going to do the same. So basically I can copy this one. I put down here. Now I change the text string right here to meet the requirement right here. So second one going to be put the name. So I copy it. And I can put over here. Okay, so I can put my name over here. Okay, I can test again. Alright, so you see two lines have been displayed. Uh, a, this dash line right here, and this one's my name right here. Um, so basically, you're gonna change uh, this string right here to uh, uh, what the name is, okay? Alright, so you're gonna do the same thing in. Uh, by copy all cap a text string right here, put inside the quotation of the right line uh, syntax right here can display. So the bottom right here, all the number right here, we right now just consider as a string. Okay, so basically everything right here gonna be inside a quotation. Right, so I already prepared. So now I can uh, basically just copy right here to my program. Right, so the uh, the third line right here display a, uh, a string. I'm a new student, and this is my first program. And another uh, star line right here. Uh, then this is my student ID. This one's making up uh, ID. Okay, you can put uh, any number. Of, um, consider as so a student ID. Uh, and this one's a birth date, and you can change this one to the year as well. Okay. And the last one right here, basically another line right here at the bottom. All right, um, I save it and I run this again. 
right? So you can see all the information in this way right here, ref, uh, reflecting all of the uh, um, command line, uh, right line right here we use. So H right here doesn't correspond to the last one right here. And we use the right line right here. So basically the cursor is going to move to the next uh, line right here. And the read right here is just waiting for us to hit enter. And so we can see the output right here. All right. Um, so just follow the in, uh, instruction. Um, uh, create the new project, and um, you uh, copy the output right here uh, along with the uh, with the program. Again, the program could be uh, somehow right here. This is a, a solution a folder. So I want you to copy the program .cs right here. Uh, come back with the uh, uh, come back with the uh, uh, screenshots of the output right here, and also follow the uh, template of the uh, report. Com uh, compress them together and upload to the uh, week three Dropbox. Okay, I think that's all for this week, and um, I hope you enjoy the program. And um, uh, let me know if you have any questions.